Before we start, this is a composite case study, not one person's real experience. The results shown are exceptional and not typical. 90 plus percent of people who start free courses never finish. Those who do face highly variable outcomes based on countless factors. I promote a paid community in this video. Joining guarantees nothing. Your results will vary. This shows what's possible, not what is probable. This is Keiko. 14 months ago, she was making lattes at Starbucks for $15 an hour. Today, she's a Python developer working remotely, making $94,000 a year. Zero college degree, zero boot camp, zero debt. What if I told you she followed the exact same six courses that MIT students pay $257,000 for, except she paid nothing. While computer science graduates are facing 6.1% unemployment with $143,000 in debt, Keiko applied to 287 jobs and got three offers. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you the exact six course path that she followed, the specific project she built, and why this works in 2025 when everyone says tech jobs are dead. But first, you need to understand why CS graduates are struggling while people like Keiko are getting hired. I'm Antoine Wade. I research career paths and educational alternatives. And here's what the data shows about the computer science education crisis in 2025. Computer science graduate unemployment, 6.1%. Computer engineering, 7.5% unemployment. Tech job postings, down 36% from 2020. Tech layoffs, 250,000 workers in 2024 and 2025 combined. Average student loan debt for computer science degree, 80,000 to 143,000. So how is Keiko getting hired when CS graduates can't? Because companies don't care where you learn. They care if you can solve their problems. And Keiko proved that she could solve problems by building eight projects that companies actually wanted. Here's her exact path. January, 2024, Keiko is 24 years old working full times at Starbucks, living with two roommates to afford rent. She has a high school diploma, no college degree, no coding experience, but she has something more valuable than a degree. She has four hours every night after her shift ends and nothing to lose. One night, she's scrolling Reddit and sees a post. I got hired as a software engineer after completing six free MIT courses. She clicks the link. MIT Open Courseware, 2,400 free courses, no registration, no applications, no tuition. The same lecturers MIT students pay 85000 per year to attend. Keiko makes a decision that night that changes her entire life. She's going to spend the next 14 months learning computer science for free. Here's exactly what she did. February 2024. Keiko starts MIT's most popular course, Introduction to Computer Science and Programming in Python. She studies every night at the work, 10 to 15 hours per week, problem sets, lectures, coding assignments. The first month is brutal. She doesn't understand loops, functions, confuse her. She wants to quit six times, but she keeps going. By week eight, something clicks. She writes her first program that actually works, a calculator that solves equations. It's simple, but it's hers. Here's what she learned in course one. Variables, loops, functions, data structures, object-oriented programming, algorithms, testing, and debugging. 66% of developers use Python. 64,000 open job postings. Entry-level Python roles pay 70,000 to 96,000. But here's what Keiko understood that most people miss. Learning syntax doesn't get you hired. Building projects does. So she builds three projects, a to-do list app, a weather dashboard that pulls real-time data, and a budget tracker. She puts all three on GitHub. Month three ends. She now has three projects proven she can code. Quick question. Did you know MIT gave away the exact same courses their students pay for? Drop yes or no in the comments. I'm curious how many people know this exists. Now here's where Keiko's path gets interesting. April 2024. Keiko starts two courses simultaneously. Linear Algebra with Professor Gilbert String. 88 years old, 20 million views, legendary teacher. And Introduction to Algorithms, the course that teaches you how to pass tech interviews. This is where most people quit. Linear algebra is abstract, 
matrices, vectors, eigenvalues. Algorithms are hard, sorting, searching, dynamic programming, graph theory. Keiko almost quits in month five. She's working 40 hours at Starbucks, studying 15 hours per week, barely sleeping. Her roommate asks, why don't you just go to college? Keiko does the math. College? Four years, 143000 in debt, 1400 per month loan payments for 10 years. MIT, open courseware, 14 months, zero debt, zero payments. She keeps going. Month seven ends. She understands linear algebra well enough to explain neural networks. She can solve algorithm problems that Google asks in interviews. 93% of AI jobs paying 140000 to 250000 require linear algebra. 90% of tech interviews test data structures and algorithms. Here's the secret. Companies don't care if you have a degree in algorithms. They care if you can solve algorithm problems on a whiteboard. Keiko builds two more projects, a sorting algorithm visualizer showing how different algorithms work and a pathfinding algorithm that solve mazes. She now has five projects on GitHub. She now starts computational thinking in data science, learning how to analyze data, find patterns, and make predictions. In artificial intelligence with Professor Patrick Winson, neural networks, machine learning, computer vision. This is where everything clicks. Python from course one, linear algebra from course two, algorithms from course three, they all come together in AI and data science. Keiko realizes something critical. She doesn't need to master everything. She needs to specialize in something companies desperately need. Data science, 36% job growth through 2033. AI machine learning specialists, 140,000 to 250,000 salaries. 78% of companies now use AI but can't find people who understand it. Keiko builds her most impressive project yet, a machine learning model that predicts housing prices using real data sets. It's not perfect, but it works and it proves she understands AI fundamentals. She builds two more projects, a sentiment analysis tool that analyzes Twitter data, a recommendation system like Netflix uses. Month 10 ends. She now has eight projects on GitHub showing Python, algorithms, data science, and AI skills. While CS students are sitting in lecture halls paying 40,000 per year, Keiko is building projects that companies actually want to see, but she's not done yet. October 2024, Keiko takes her final course, Mathematics for Computer Science, Discrete Math, Logic, Proofs, Graph Theory, Probability, taught by Tom Leeton, co-founder of Akamai Technologies, a billion-dollar company built on concepts from this course. This is what separates junior developers making 70000 from senior engineers making 150000 Junior developers follow tutorials. Senior engineers design systems. Discrete math teaches you how to think like an engineer, not just code like a programmer. Understanding these concepts adds 20000 to 30000 to your salary. November 2024, month 12 ends. Keiko has completed all six MIT courses. Same professors as MIT students, same problem sets, same exams. Total cost, zero dollars. But here's the question that matters. Can she actually get hired? December 2024, Keiko starts applying to jobs. She has no degree, no boot camp certificate, no formal credentials. What she has, eight projects on GitHub proving she can code, knowledge from six MIT courses, a resume showing self-taught skills in Python, algorithms, data science, and AI. The first month is brutal. She applies to over 287 jobs and gets rejected for 268. Automated systems filter her out because she doesn't have a degree. Recruiters ignore her because she's self-taught. Month 13, January 2025, she's ready to give up. Then she gets her first interview, a startup building data analytical tools. They look at her GitHub. They see her housing price prediction model. They give her a technical interview, algorithm problems, data structures, system design. She solves every problem. Within two weeks, she gets three job offers, 78,000 as a junior data analyst, 85,000 as a Python developer at a fintech company, and 94,000 as a Python developer at a remote first startup. She takes the 94,000 remote position. March 25, 14 months after starting, Keiko goes from making lattes for $15 an hour to writing Python code for $94,000 a year. Zero student loan debt, 
zero monthly payments. She takes home $5,900 per month after taxes, while CS graduates are taking home $3,100 per month after loan payments. Keiko takes home $5,900 per month with zero debt. That's $2,800 more per month every month for her entire career. Would you invest 14 months learning for free instead of four years paying $143,000? Drop your honest answer in the comments. I want to know where you stand. And let me show you the exact courses Keiko took. Here are the exact six free MIT courses that took Keiko from Starbucks barista to 94,000 developer in 14 months. Course one, introduction to computer science programming in Python, the foundation, everything builds on this. Course two, linear algebra with professor Gilbert String required for AI and machine learning adds 20,000 to 30,000 to your salary. Course three, introduction to algorithms, what tech companies test in interviews. 90% of interviews require this. Course four, computational thinking and data science, fastest growing field, 36% job growth through 2033. Course five, artificial intelligence, highest paying specialization, 140,000 to 250,000 salaries, 78% of companies need this. Course six, mathematics for computer science, what separates junior from senior engineers worth an extra 20,000 to 30,000 total time 900 to 1,000 hours over 12 to 18 months total cost zero dollars. MIT students pay 257,000 for these exact courses. You pay nothing. Same professors, same lectures, same problem sets same exams. The only difference, you can't put MIT graduate on your resume, but you can put self-taught developer with Python, AI, and data science skills with eight projects proving it. And here's what Keiko learned. Companies hire skills, not credentials. Before you think this is easy, let me tell you what I didn't tell you about Keiko's path. Reality number one, she studied 10 to 15 hours per week for 14 months while working full time. That's 700 to 900 hours of studying. She almost quit three times, month five, month nine, and month 13 during job rejections. She applied to 287 jobs, got rejected 268 times. That's a 93% rejection rate. She had zero social life for 14 months. No vacations, no weekends off, just work and study. This path is not easy. MIT Open Courseware gives you zero certificates, zero instructor support, and zero handholding. You are completely on your own. But here's what's also true. Self-taught developers and bootcamp graduates get hired at rates of approximately 71% within six months. The path works, but only if you don't quit. The question isn't whether this is possible. The question is whether you will do what 99% of people won't. Quick disclosure, I run a paid Patreon community called The Heights that includes learning roadmaps and project ideas. It's $5.99 per month. The video promotes it. Critical disclaimer, joining does not guarantee you'll get hired or earn any specific salary. Success depends entirely on your effort, discipline, and market conditions nobody controls. Link is in the description if you want it, but you don't need it to follow Keiko's path. Here's what I want you to understand. Right now, college students are taking on 100000 to 200000 in debt. They are graduating and spend 10 years paying it back. Meanwhile, MIT has published 2,400 free courses, the same education they charge 257000 for. Keiko chose the free path. 14 months of studying while everyone told her she needed a degree. 287 job applications while automated systems rejected her. 268 rejections while people said self-taught doesn't work anymore. Today, she makes 94000 per year with zero debt. She takes home 5900 per month while CS graduates take home 3100 after loan payments. That's 2800 more per month, 33600 more per year. 300,036 more over 10 years. The path exists. The courses are free. The opportunity is real. The only question is whether you will start. While everyone's taking on six figures of debt for education, smart people are learning the same thing for free, keeping every dollar they earn. Here's what you do right now. Comment course one if you are starting introduction to computer science this week. I want to see how many people actually take action versus just watch. Subscribe for more career paths that save money while building valuable skills. Check out the Heights Patreon link if you want roadmaps, but remember, you don't need it. Keiko didn't use it. You can follow her exact path for free. 14 months from now, you could be exactly where Keiko is, 
or you could still be watching videos wondering if self-taught actually works. The choice is yours. This is Antoine Wade. Stop paying for education that's free. Keep climbing and we'll see you in the next video.